Welcome back to the Gentleman Ultras YouTube channel. I'm Richard Hall, as always, looking through the morning papers. And Italy, of course, still getting quite a lot of the headlines uh, after their performance. Uh, Gazetta continue it today, uh, saying Italy, you make his dream. Talking about going all the way to the final, potentially there. Uh, the Corriere dello Sport uh, is already a little out of date now. Uh, it says uh, Gattuso um, is going to Tottenham whilst the Fiorentina, sorry, whilst Fiorentina, look for Italiano. Um, also there talking about the untouchable Locatelli. And here the uh, headlines in Tutto Sport. Uh, when I actually get to it, uh, which is about now, is everybody for Chris, talking Christian Eriksen, and boom, Italia. There we go. So starting in Tuto Sport, uh, everyone's talking about this uh, situation with uh, Christian Eriksen. Uh, obviously, it talks about the game against Denmark uh, and uh, Belgium, where obviously there was a round of applause. And talking about the fact that the inter-champion now is a defibrillator implanted in the cardiologist, a guy called Cardu, uh, says it's unthinkable to see him on the pitch again. He says he can do it at his own risk, but obviously the consequences could be very dire if he does. Um, so, you know, here's hoping that the main thing is, is that he gets healthy and, um, you know, no matter what happens after that, you know, he's irrelevant. Um, you know, it's a shame that we'll miss a talent like him on the pitch again. Boom Italy says here, 15 million in front of the TV for the triumph against Switzerland. Uh, the country is absolutely gripped by this, these Euros. Uh, really, I think coming out of the pandemic, I think everyone's enjoying them. Seeing that the fans in the stadium as well is massive. And Italy now really think they've got the momentum to win this. Um, he said that Locatelli, after his performance, is now rated about 40 million. Cheap in my opinion, that. Um, but he said Juventus needs to hurry up because, of course, the better he does, the more expensive he's getting day by day. Donnarumma, it says, is also um, likely to join PSG, which we knew. But that's going to be signed and deal done on Monday. So... Bye-bye Donnarumma, um, um, shame to see him not carry on with Milan, uh, it would have been great to see him have a career like Maldini and to see his full uh, days out in there, but what can you do? Uh, it also says here that everybody is quite liking the looks of Lorenzo Insigne, uh, it's just strange that it takes Euros to notice a 29 year old when he's been performing very well in the past. It says here that, of course, Catuso is to join Patatici at Tottenham. Although, it's rumours in the papers in, the, uh, in England this morning saying that that isn't going to happen. And Tottenham have already decided to move on. Uh, poor Toro, not even summer camps. It's saying that uh, the whole Torino um, camp, well, <laughs> the whole Torino team squad, uh, just the ownership, it's all a bit of a mess at the moment. And Alessandria, a masterpiece. Welcome back to Serie B after they beat Padova 5-4 on penalties in the playoffs last night. Gazzetta dello Sport, uh, again, they're going along with the, as I said before, it's uh, Italy Maker's Dream. They're looking at the fact that they said they're playing the best football in the tournament. And what's all, almost more is there's a great team spirit. It said that France possibly are stronger, but they're beatable, just like Belgium. It talks also here about uh, Christian Eriksen, about the fact that he's obviously had the, the defibrillators we mentioned before, and his inter future is obviously in doubt. Um, and then it talks about, obviously, Lukaku and De Bruyne's influence. Uh, against Denmark in their victory yesterday. Fiorentina um, saying here want to um, look to potentially Fonseca, uh, says Gazetta, um, as it also said that Tottenham call Gattuso. And it says, Palmer, you are my future. Buffon like Superman, as we mentioned yesterday. Fantastic uh, <laughs> introduction to Gigi back in Palmer colours and in Serie B. Carol Della Sport, as I said before, they're also talking about Gattuso towards Tottenham. So that's, of course, as we just said, not happening. It said that Camisso also wants the um, uh, Italiano, the coach, who's just extended with, um, with Spezia. Fonseca is the alternative. Uh, it also says that uh, the time of Nicolo Gonzalez, uh, Nico Gonzalez, sorry, is also close. Um, so it's quite a, interesting in Corriere dello Sport when they talk about the Azzurri. It says that a different Italy will play on Sunday. Chiellini will now be available for the round of 16. So it'll be interesting to see if Italy can get the same intensity out of the players that haven't played as yet against Wales. Uh, obviously, they're going to want to top the group and, uh, and move on. Uh, it says that Verratti actually could return against Wales. Uh, but Manuel Locatelli is a cornerstone and will be in that team. <laughs> um, also, finally, really on this, he said, five experts give advice to Mancini. I think he's doing all right. 
Uh, it doesn't really need that. So yes, we'll wait and see how Italy get on, but those are the headlines this morning. And if you like this, please like it, share it, and for me now, ciao for now.